I usually shop at Costco because they have more organic and gluten-free stuff and every time it's like a treasure hunt to shop at Costco. But I do like the uh, freshly squeezed orange juice at Sam's Club. Today we're here, we're going to discover if they have anything new or interesting. Three. This is something new. So this is not like a real bowl, huh? No, this is all digital. Digital? Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, me neither. There's something new at Sam's yeah. Club. And uh, is this uh, the price? Six ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. how I feel about it. I think I still like the the real ball. Well, they don't have the volume up. You're not getting the full effect. Hey. Sam's every once in a while, they do these special chips with Lay's. So right now they've got these everything bagel with cream cheese. I'm trying these. So you said this is limit, limited time flavor. Yes. This is another limited time flavor. Free and vegan and paleo. Avocado oil sweet potato chips. Not cheap, but I wouldn't expect them to be. You haven't seen this somewhere no, else? No, I've never seen these. Rice flour, potato flakes, oat flour. Show me the ingredients. That looks pretty safe. Okay, the front part is the cauliflower snacking crackers. Mm -hmm. Gluten-free. Gluten-free. Yep. Okay. Vegan. Yep, I'm going to buy one. Purchase. Now you can have wrap stacks in your lunch every day. <laughs> What's so special about this one? I don't really know. I just remember the first time I saw these was in St. Louis. Yeah. But I don't know if there's like, they donate money to something or what the deal is. But interesting. What's, what's in there? Potato chips. Do they have yeah. different flavors? Or Salt different? and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. Okay. You know, it's, it's everything. Oh. It's all of these things. Okay. This was an odd thing to find in Sam's Club because Orion's a Korean snack company. You know, see, it says product of Korea. They don't usually get things from Asia. Yeah, so these are corn chips, flaming lime flavor, with four layers and a very elaborate geometric diagram to help you understand the four layers. Yeah, see? four. Wow, nine. four layers. It's only four nine. And you have a turtle with a magician's hat. It's only four ninety nine, right? Yeah, four ninety eight. Okay. Yep. So, gonna give those a try. These are individual packed pork rinds. Yeah. Probably the the customer base is pretty heavily Hispanic, so I think this is part of the reason why these are here. So this was an interesting thing. Uh, chocolate candy cane granola. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be just eaten out of the bag or if you would like eat it with milk. I don't know. It looks like it can be just It doesn't have any junk in it. Well, no allergens. Very... Kosher, vegan, ancient grains. I mean, they're using every marketing trick in the book here. So, <laughs> yeah. But it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, I guess worth a try. You want to try this one? So Costco doesn't seem to have this uh, gift basket, right? No, not this year. Yeah. Well, Sam still has a bunch of them, though. Well, this will be a pretty convenient if you're looking for Christmas gifts. Yep. It's a nice little pack. Yeah. So you olive oil. You could almost oil. give that to somebody as part of like a gift basket. Yeah, it's olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> you should help me. So we grabbed two bottles of uh, avocado oil here. How much per bottle here? $7.98. $7.98. And I think Costco will start to carry these. Yeah, they started carrying an organic one in a glass bottle, but it's like 16 bucks. So it doesn't really seem... I mean, if it was like 10 bucks, I'd do it, but I'm not going to pay double for it. Plus, I don't really think it's necessary to use the organic No, not because you're only using avocado. so little. No, yeah. plus it's, it's kind of like a... Avocado have a shell type of Yeah, thing. yeah. It's not. It's, it's not, not like as a, important with an avocado. Yeah, it's not like a strawberry or or grapes or something. Yeah. Like that. So the Sam's Club by us just started carrying 
liquor. They never had it before. Yeah, there's uh, lots of liquors here. Yeah, now they got lots of stuff. But the prices are insane. This, you can't find this for less than 30 bucks anywhere. Oh, it's only $23.98. Oh. I got another one. And then this, Jägermeister. It's only 13 bucks. You can't find this. If you find it on sale, like the best is probably like 18 bucks, but usually it's like 20 or 22. Wow. I remember this. Yeah, it, I bought it before. It tastes very much like a herb stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to drink in the winter. Yeah, a German German like to drink those. Yeah. Yeah, this is really cheap. That's that's a uh, 1.75 liter bottle. That's I don't know if it's any good, but I mean, for 13 bucks, I'm willing to try. That's a really big bottle. Yeah, it is. Just don't drink all, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another bargain. Scotch? Yep, 27 bucks for Dewar's White Label. How much it usually cost? Like 36 to 40 bucks. Why so much cheaper here? Is that just... I don't know. I don't it, know if they're doing something special because I just started carrying it. Maybe, but maybe just because they start carrying be. it. That's a small calendar. Yeah, but this is a advent calendar of just 50 milliliter bottles or shots. Oh. Well, I well, don't, don't know exactly what's in it. Yeah, what's in there? Okay. It's all members mark brand. So they have rum, two different types of vodka, tequila, and gin. from Provence members mark which I've never tried before so this is all part of the sampling process <laughs> good excuse but they had Riesling I picked up and they've got a Pinot Grigio they have Moscato that's the Riesling is from Germany yeah that's from Germany very inexpensive yeah we got these things yesterday from uh, Jack's Club so let's see how these things taste. You know, which one do you want to try first? Um, Turtle chips, cauliflower, snacking crackers. Let's and... let's do the cauliflower ones first because they're probably the most mild. Okay. Let's try. Because if you try to eat those after the intense ones, they're gonna taste like nothing. Okay, so. The ingredients for this one, mainly a sunflower, potato starch, whole grain rice. Cauliflower. Huh? What did I say? You said sunflower. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Cauliflower. Um, potato starch. Cassava. cassava. Yep. So. Yep. Oat flour. Yep. So, these little tiny chips. Not bad. Yeah. I'll give you one. Yeah. I'm I'm the chip expert in the household anyway. <laughs> so Yeah, so whole bag of chips. Mm. Drop my chip. Yep. Accident. What do you think? Well, it's good until you get to the very end and then there's like this kind of strange aftertaste that affects it a little bit. It's like a, the texture wise a little bit. No, the texture is okay. I mean, it's like a cracker. That part no, doesn't bother me. No, I'm talking me. about at the end. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is at the end, but that kind of makes it about a five out of 10 for me. What? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't turn them down, but they wouldn't be my first choice either. I think because it's gluten free, mm -hmm. so you'll get used to the normal chips. But for me, since I, I've been eating gluten free, yeah. so in a gluten free category, I don't think this one is bad. No, I don't think it is either, but no. but it's... It's kind of, it's just a little bit soggy. I've had better gluten-free chips, though. You do? Yeah. Mm, okay. All right, now we have kettle cooked potato chips. Yep. Limited edition flavor, right? Yep. And then uh, turtle chips. Which one do you want to try? Um, let's do the uh, bagel chips first. Bagel. Yep. Um, I need to... Rinse my palate in between. <laughs> With beer? Yep. Oh my god, this one is hard to open. Oh. All right. Just like a regular potato chip. Yep, they're kettle cooked though. What do you mean kettle cooked? So, like the regular Lay's are a little different. 
These are uh, these are like batch cooked. And these are the ingredients. Not so bad. Mm -mm. Usually I'll look to see if there's anything weird. Like my way of judging if anything weird is if there's any words that I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one doesn't seem too bad, especially for a Lay's chip. Yep. Oh, whole bag of list chips. I think I need a couple more. Huh? Okay. Give you more. Well, I just if I'm gonna give it a score, I want to make sure I'm giving it a good, accurate number. You can rinse that down with the beer. I can, gladly. Mm-hmm. Almost like a weak sour cream and onion chip, a little bit. Oh, is that? It's, it's kind of yeah. It kind of like has the same taste, but it's it's more mild than a sour cream and onion. Okay. Oh, this is the last one. Well, this one is the most interesting. Yes, <laughs> as I would expect from Korea. Well, I didn't get this because it's healthy. Look at the ingredients. Yeah. It's like super long, and then there's a bunch of words I don't understand. Yeah, but, it's the ingredient list is a lot worse than the lace chips is, that's yeah. for sure. But just for the fun. Yep. Well, how can you pass up a turtle with a magician's hat? <laughs> Puffy. Interesting. Yep. Try it. Hmm. The texture is interesting. Very interesting. It feels like it can melt in your mouth. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to too much. It's, it's not really of, crunchy, or super crunchy. Well, it's kind of crunchy at the beginning. Yeah. But once you get more. Once you bite into it, it kind of it disintegrates some, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, kind of melted. Mm -hmm. And the the chili and lime isn't super strong mm -hmm. either. I mean, it's not like eating a taki or something like that. No. But the the flavor is pretty mild. Yeah. It's okay as a snack. Yeah, I think so. Goes well with beer. <laughs> that's a plus. All right, that's the testing. Yeah. So I think I like that one the best of the three, honestly. The the Korean one. Yeah, the Korean one. This is the most unhealthy one, but yeah, but it's got the most flavor to it. No. But that's kind of my thing. I always get attracted to the strong flavors of everything. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.